Section 6.2, using proportions to solve geometry problems. So recall, a proportion is an equation of two equivalent ratios, where we see A over B equals C over D. Well, this means that we can solve for other representations of this proportion. If we have A over B equals C over D, we can cross multiply, and that gives us our extremes. The product of our extremes equals the product of our means. And that's the first property of proportions, that AD will equal BC. We could also see that if we cross multiply, and then we can divide both sides by C, giving us A over C. Also divide both, sorry, I don't want to do that. We can divide both sides by A, giving me B over A on this side, and divide both sides by C, D over C, which shows me that if I wanted to flip the first ratio to be B over A, all that does is flip the second ratio to be D over C. And this is the reciprocal property of proportions, or property two. Thus, we have means and extremes. We also have the reciprocal property. Well, we can take this even further. What if we want to have the ratio of our numerators? So instead of having A over B, we're going to have A over C. Again, I take this cross-multiply, so I get AD equals BC. I divide both sides by C, since I want to have A over C and then also divide both sides by D. Thus I see that the numerators equals the ratio of the denominators, as long as I now have my new numerators was my previous first ratio. I know that sounds a little tricky, but basically we want to make sure that numerators and denominators will stay in a line. and that the first ratio and the second ratio will stay in a line. Thus, AC equals BD. Property four is probably one of the trickiest for students to wrap their heads around, but let's take a moment and look at this. We're saying that A plus B over B. Well, we can break this apart into two ratios, where it's A, B, plus B over B. Well, notice B over B is the same thing as just adding one to this side. So let's take a moment, look at this. We have A over B equals C over D. I can add one to both sides. But if I do that, I might want to express the one on the left side as B over B, which means I want to express the one on the right side as D over D. This lets me combine these fractions to be A plus B over B equals C plus D over D. Thus, if I have A plus B over B, that means I have C plus D over D. I can add the denominator from both sides to their respective numerators. Let's look at some examples. Try this first example on your own. In this example, you're told that the ratio of MN to RS, so MN to RS is equal to NP to ST. Go ahead and solve for X. Resume the video when you're ready to see the solution.